two tragic deaths in the music business. The rapper Easy e one of the founding members of NWA. It's the N-word with an attitude. That's what it stands for. Uh, but uh, Easy e really a, a, a young man with, uh, with a message, a powerful message, a guy who uh, sold millions of records and really set a trend. His death uh, to the AIDS virus, uh, a tragic reminder that sometimes, uh, you know, if you live a certain lifestyle, sing about a certain lifestyle, it can catch. There is a cost to pay, a personal responsibility. Still, we mourn his passing, a terrible, terrible loss in the music business. Joining us now in Los Angeles, uh, now from left to right, now is it Tracy? Yes. Hi, Tracy. And, Hi. And who's that on your lap? This is Aaron. And Aaron is Eric's uh, daughter? Yes. Okay. Are, now, are you his widow or were you... Uh, no. You're one of his girlfriends? No, not his girlfriend either. Um, Aaron's mother. Okay. Now, when... Uh, how old is Aaron? She's four. Four years old. Uh, did uh, did Izzy uh, recognize her as his own? Yes, he did. Any idea how many kids uh, he left behind? Um, <laughs> I'm hearing seven, seven eight I'm from seven, seven yeah. by... Yeah, seven, eight, eight. Eight by seven different women, is that? Yeah. That's the way it goes, okay. Yeah. Um, you know, because of the manner in which he died, you must have some concerns about your own health or the health of your daughter. Have you been, have you been tested? Um, I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. Um, why not? Why not? Why? Yeah. Um, I have been tested. Oh, good. Negative. Good. And because I haven't been with Eric in a little while. In a little while? Yeah. And how, and how old is the child, remind me? She's four. Four years old. Okay. Well, okay. She'll uh, be five. She'll be five in July. Okay. Let me, let me jump. Uh, Jerry Heller, the manager of, uh, of EZE, also joins us. He's sitting in the middle there. Jerry, a tragedy. I understand there's some scuffling over the estate he left behind. Is that, uh, is that a fact? Uh, <clears throat> it looks like there's going to be some, uh, uh, some legal problems uh, involved with the estate. Is, do I understand it correctly that uh, $600,000 is missing from a certain account? Uh, well, I have read that. Um, you know, I asked the silly question to Tracy. I, I realize now as I contemplate that he did get married just shortly before he went into his final coma, did he not? Yeah, yes he did, and uh, uh, those parties are the only ones that signed on that account where, where they say money is missing. You say so his, his wife that he married just in his death throes, uh, she had control of that account with his money missing allegedly? That's correct. So it's going to be a mess, Flo Anthony, a mess? I think it's going to be a big mess. I understand that his wife, you know, is also now in a power struggle, you know, with the uh, other principals and Ruthless Records. And um, shortly before he died, they had, you know, closed off his offices, the, you know, the police and other people did that so there wouldn't be any more stealing of files. They knew that files and funds were missing before he was declared dead. He was in a coma, though two weeks and on life support prior to dying. Jerry Heller, just remind us, if you, if you will, uh, how soon prior to his death did he marry on his hospital bed, on his deathbed? Well, I was told that the marriage was consummated on the 26th. I, uh, on the 24th. Okay. Um, on the 14th? Did he... I'm not sure. It was two days before. I think it was two or three days before. Was he already in the kind of dementia that HIV brings? Well, I'm sure that's what people will be saying. And that's what they're saying, that he was not of sound mind when he willed everything to this woman. I want to ask Yella, who's an ex-member of NWA. Uh, Yella, welcome. I wonder, uh, you know, how do, what's your take? What's the loss to the music business and to young people who, who follow it easy and your music? Um, it's going to be a big loss because... He was one of the, you know, original West Coast gangster rap. That's what they call it now. Back then we called it street music, but, you know, that voice was unique back then. He was never a rapper before all this, but, you know, he made a strong punch in this business. And, you know, I miss him already. You know, I, I still can't believe he's gone, you know, right. so sudden. 
It was awful. AJ? Just to tell you how a lot of people don't know Easy, even though he's so popular. When I was at Cedar Sign on the day he died, and I asked the spokesman at the hospital, and she said that the time that he was in, just the first week he was in the hospital, they had to hire people to answer the phones because 10,000 inquiries were made on his health. That's more than George Burns, Lucille Ball, and Liz Taylor had combined when they were ailing there at different times at the hospital. Well, Lisa G? Well, I was going to say that he, his personality really was a, a dichotomy because, you know, uh, his music, some people didn't agree with the message. But on the other hand, they say that he had a great sense of humor. He was a great businessman. And one of the controversies is that he started the record company reportedly with money that he made from drugs. So that's really a mixed message. Jesse? Yeah, I'd, like to ask, I'd like to ask the young lady about her daughter. I mean, uh, she's been uh, HIV tested. But what about her daughter? Uh, have you had her HIV tested? No. Why not? Well, not yet. You should, honey. You really should. Yeah. Because uh, AIDS incubates for, yeah, I believe, yeah, you over be seven years. years. You know, God forbid, but, it, you know. But she seems beautiful. I mean, she is Gorgeous. beautiful, yeah. the daughter yeah. and the mother. Yeah. Uh, the daughter seems very healthy. Uh, Tracy, did you love Easy e Yeah, I, I loved him. I loved him. Um, did you, were you also a, angry at his lifestyle? Um, well, to a certain extent, you know, that's why, you know, we, we, um, went our separate ways, you know, because of the lifestyle, but, um, the, the, um, yet and still, you know, he, he took very good care of our daughter, you know, he was there as much as, um, any man could possibly be that is, was as busy as himself. And, okay. you know, he spent time with her okay. financially. He's been there she's, from the she's beginning. She's squirming around there. So give her a big kiss for us <laughs> in New York. Good luck to you. Danielle Smith, music editor for Vibe magazine. Next month's issue will carry a story about the late rapper Easy e Yes. My question is to Danielle. Will you and the other uh, women he left behind be well, attending? No, no, she's not one of his women. She's, uh, she's an Oh, my apologies, <laughs> no, okay. my apologies. Will the women be? Will the women be going to his funeral, all of them? Uh, what about the conduct? What's the plans of the... The widows uh, that Easy e left behind. Um, I don't know. I, I can't. I don't know if the women are going to be at his memorial service. I do understand they're going to hold it at a really huge place, either Poly Pavilion, which is where um, the UCLA basketball team plays, or either at the uh, Fabulous Forum where the Lakers play. They're anticipating a huge, huge turnout. But I think the, I think there is reason to believe that the women, um, Easy, the the mothers of Easy's kids, may just band together so that um, they don't get cut out of out of his estate. His new wife, Tamika Woods, they seem to think that Tamika might not want to, uh, might not want to um, pay them or continue the child support that Eric Easy E. Wright has been paying over the course of many years. So he's been paying for all of those children? Yes, he has been. How old was he? Uh, Easy was 31 years old when he died. 31 years old. 31 years old. What a tragedy. Years old. What a tragedy. Uh, I want, uh, do you believe that the Tamika is the name of the widow? Her name is, T no, she, yes, she is the widow. Her name is Tamika Woods. Tamika. Uh, do you believe uh, that she uh, married him when he was not conscious of, uh, of the fact that he was, of what he was doing? You know, I wasn't there. I can't say. Um, I, I, I do know that he was not able to stand. I'm hearing the word <laughs> gold digger quite a bit. Okay. <laughs> Yellow, what do you hear? Um, I know they got married the day before the surgery which was a Tuesday. Then but I thought there was a question as to whether that surgery ever happened. Yeah, he had, he had the surgery, but he didn't finish the surgery. It was too weak. Right. So then he was on life support. When I seen him on a Thursday, I talked to him. He knew I, he can open his eyes, and he knew it was me and everything. But And I how really, soon after that did he marry you, or was he already married? He married like two days before I seen him. Oh, wow. Okay. The day before, he was on life support. Oh, lawsuits galore, folks. Lawsuits galore. Let me take a break. Right now.